Hello everyone, my name is Thoreau Believes, and welcome back to another episode for the Old Republic. Now, look at my new outfit here. I do believe Leventus is quite dashing, and Kalia couldn't resist him. But we'll go into that later. Anyway, before I make an inappropriate comment, a little thing happened to where my sound was not on whenever I was recording a brief part where we went to go handle the terrorists trying to escape or whatever. So, we got that little droid, that little mouse droid, and we drove it onto the terrorist ship. And at that point, we went back to the Keeper and we let him know what was going on. Then we got a speech from a guy called the Eagle. And he leads that rebel group. And he was saying that there's going to be a lot more rebel attacks. So I was promoted to a new rank called Cypher 9. That is now my new title. And they gave me a ship and basically operational independence, which feels pretty darn good. So I'm in my ship right now. Look at it. I love it. I mean, I've got my own ship, baby. It's pretty large. I mean, I might as well live here. Oh, hello. I like it. There's a mission over here if I want to go engage in PvP or whatever, but right now, we're not going to do that. We're going to do a main storyline mission. What's in here? Intercom? Who can I call? No one right now. Alright, fine. I won't. We spoke to Kaleo for a little bit about things, and, you know, Leventius was being a little bit flirty, saying, Hey, maybe you won't want to leave after spending more time with me. And she was like, Ha, huh, you're not that interesting, Agent. And I was like, Whoa. I am. All right, here we go. Nice digs. I think you got a message on that thing. Download and begin playback. Cypher 9, intelligence is finalizing your target list, but in the meantime, there's a formality we need to address. With Darth Jadis' demise, his seat on the Dark Council has opened. It will be filled by his daughter and sole apprentice, Darth Jorid. Jadis has a daughter? Lord Jorid demands to meet with you. Proceed to Korriban at once. She has authorized your presence in the Sith Academy. I've never been to the Empire's first capital. I assume you haven't either. Met a guy who went grave robbing there once. Lost his tongue to the Sith and felt lucky. Not my kind of place. Give me a shout if you need something. I'm gonna see how they stock the lounge. Well, we're about to go then. Korriban, huh? I'm not gonna like it, but I'm going. They better not get any, you know, dirt on my clothing. All right, here we go. I'm heading where now? Not there, but over here. Oh, very cool. I like the map. Not there. Oh, no, no, no. I'm here. My bad. But here is Korriban anyway. All right, I'll be chatting with a daughter of the guy who's now dead. Cool. I'm sure she'll be lovely, even delightful. You're kidding me. I get to watch it go into... Light speed or hyper speed or whatever it's called. Time for a dance, or I can sit down for a little bit. Take me away, Jim. Who's Jim? Do I have a Jim? I don't have a Jim. All right, we're here. I guess I'm getting out now, right? I suppose I am. Nope. I'll look at that later. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna go out of here. I mean, I can only assume that I have to leave my ship, and I'm gonna take a wrong turn or two because you know I'm new here. There's my android butler. I call him Jeeves or Jeeves. Out I go. Wow, how fancy here. I like it. I should steal their clothing. Wear it as pajamas. Yeah, I really do like the outfit that Levincius is currently wearing. Also, a good fellow gave me a lot of money, which is why I was able to buy a few parts of my outfit, and I really appreciate that. Alright, let's keep on going now. Where's my friends list anyway? Ah, here we go. Zurge. Zurge was the kind guy to give me that much money. He actually wrote a very formal and amazing letter, and I thought it was from the game. I was like, wow, how formal, how eloquent. But then I realized, no, it was a player. Thank you, Zurge. Alright. We're going over here. He invited me to do some flashpoints, and I am definitely looking forward to that. I mean, it's a MMO. Eventually, I do want to play with other people. For now, I'm showing all of you the storyline stuff, but, you know, later. Alright. Now, we're heading over here. Pardon. Yeah, no kidding, general chat. I don't even watch trailers. All right, so we're going to Korriban now. Away we go. 
what we're about to. Okay, now, here's my speeder. It feels weird being here. It's so dusty, and they're all, you know, ritualistic and whatnot. And here I am, being all professional. Whew, pardon me. My driving might be a little bit crazy. <laughs> Don't touch me. How far is it? Not too far. We can enjoy the sights here. Very cool. It's incredible how far the Sith have expanded, really. I mean, they have grown into quite the military wing. And here's the headquarters for them. All right, we're here. We're at the academy. If you fail, you die, from what I understand. <laughs> Which is pretty brutal. Oh. Your teammates are pretty ugly. I'm glad I don't have that teammate. Oh, hello. You look like a bird. Are you a cock? Maybe. Okay, we're not heading in here. Another agent. Hello, agent. I'm the better agent, but hello. They even have a cantina. Neat. Yahweh Moon. What a pretty name. Am I going the right way? Not entirely, no. I've got to go over here, then take a right. Gotcha. Then we can have a chat. Oh. Oh, oh, I should probably move. Yeah. Your companion's a little bit dumb. <laughs> well, all right then. And I'll be right here. Don't mind me, Cleo. Okay. Well, let's have a little walk. I do walk really slowly. Wow. <laughs> How apprehensive. All right. Now I've got to take a right. Oh, I remember that room. Here we are. Look who made it all the way to Korriban. I think we have a visitor. Yes, my lord. Commander, I want to be informal with my bodyguards. Ah, y yes, Lady Jorida. Delightful. You, visitor, don't you find my bodyguards delightful? I'm from Imperial Intelligence, my lord. I'm aware of that. And you have the honor of speaking to a member of the Dark Council. This experience should be the highlight of your life. But instead of answering my question, you tell me what I already know. Delightful bodyguard, I have a request. Yes, my lady? Kill our visitor, please. As you wish. He's as good as dead. Lovely. All right, let me kill these people then. How annoying. I hate her already. I didn't think I would say this, but I mean, I kind of want her father back. She's pretty terrible. All right, that's fine. I'll kill them all. Doesn't bother me too much. There we are. One more to go. All right, you idiot. What now? Oh, wonderful. My poor bodyguards. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little peeved and a little creeped out. We haven't been introduced. I'm Darth Jorid, Lord of the Dark Council and successor to Darth Jadis. I hear you're investigating my father's assassination. I wanted to see if you were worthy. I didn't want to hurt those men. But you did, and it pleased me. We'll send the Commander's children a bottle of liqueur, with our condolences. I could sense your feelings during the fight. I think you'll do nicely tracking these terrorists. But are you really sure that this eagle killed the mighty Darth Jadis? Why do you ask? Because I thought you might know more than your superiors. Jadis believed in spreading fear and anger to every corner of the Empire. He wished to share the ideals of the Sith. Perhaps his ambitions drew too much attention. Any one of his rivals on the Dark Council might have killed him. You think a Sith was behind the attack? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Chase after your terrorists. Save the lives of your Imperial friends. But if you learn who's really responsible, come to me. I've earned my place on the Dark Council. And I won't share my father's fate. Dismissed. Well, I have one bit of advice for you. Hairstylist, alright? <laughs> anyway. I've got to go back to my ship. Can I go directly back there? 
Not there. Not here, right? Hold on. Well, let's get out of here and then I can look at my map and find out what I need to do right now. Yeah, I don't like her one bit. Like I told you, Leventius is not really an evil man. He's a pragmatic one. Who's here to get the job done no matter what, but not an evil man. All right, elevator. I forget about things. There we go. What a very basic, I mean, mode of transportation. We're in the future, baby. Oh, well. All right, Cleo, one day we're going to kill that chick. I don't care how. Hopefully by making her choke with some food. You know, and be like, oh, we've got you a evil apple. Hope you like it. And she chokes and dies. Wouldn't be a bad thing. I wouldn't cry. I mean, maybe from laughter. I'd be like, ho ho! Death by apple. Okay. Now that we're here, we need to travel back and quickly. Maybe it is over here. Let me make sure. Well, not quite, huh? No, not quite. All right. Here we go. Time for me to drive. Later, Kaleo. I don't know where you go whenever I'm driving, but... Oh, well. I could quickly travel down there, but again, I like traveling the way that I am, you know, currently traveling. Hello, Acolytes. How are you doing? Surprisingly, I'm not here to kill any of you. Weird. Oh, but <laughs> they are. Okay, we're not quite done yet. Oh, falling. Still alive. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, camera angles. They frightened me a little bit. Those are some ugly creatures. I'm glad I'm not having to kill them. I got to kill people. Which is much better. But no, Lovincius is a man who enjoys his line of work. And that's pretty much about it. Everyone has a calling in life. And he's found his. And... I want him to be able to delve more into that. Hold on, I've got to go around. Got a little bit lost here. How do I get up there? Do I really need to go around it? Oh, forget it. I refuse. I'm going to call a shuttle. Pick me up. <laughs> forget it. One thing you need to know about me is that I often get lost and I can't help it. I remember I led a guild. It was a guild of over 100 people. And we had a good event and I was giving an epic speech because I used to do that. And at that point, we were moving on and I said, let's ride north, blah, blah, blah. But in a more, you know, eloquent manner. And one guy said, that's not north. And I was leading my men in the wrong way and everyone laughed and it was really great. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Oh, you're kidding me. It brought me back here? Oh, forget it. I'm getting angry now. So, I am directionally challenged. Okay, it's not the game's fault. It's my fault because I can't help it. I get lost a lot. <laughs> we can quick travel, thankfully. Off-world orientation. Is that what I'm looking for? Not really. Isn't there a droid to fast travel from? Hold on. What is that, anyway? Anyway. Not in there, I'm sure. There's got to be a droid here. There's often a droid here to carry you away. Huh. Maybe not. Oh, ugly. Die. Oh, you're level one? Gross. Not too worried about that loot. All right. Let me go around then. Fine. I'll do it. I know I can get stubborn about it. But I can chat with all of you a little bit more without having to listen to a little bit more dialogue. But yeah, I really enjoy... You know, getting immersed into the idea of what my characters are, I guess. So, I mean, when I do my character choices, I know that it's probably better to choose one route and stick to it. But I can't do that. That is not me. Ah, here we go. That is what I was looking for. I haven't really been here for too long. So, I mean, I don't know where to go. Haha, <laughs> look at you. Lo oh, 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 lovely. Fine, I'll help. Because I'm kind. What level are you, anyway? Okay. Alright, a new achievement. Good for me. Anyway, let me go around again. I should have followed... I mean, I could have just followed the road, and I know that. I'm aware of that, but I'm stubborn. I'm like, no, I could put other pathways, but apparently not. Apparently, no. They're like, you get one road, mother liquor. You get one road. 
No kidding. Okay, now we can head the right way. Soul booster. But no, I've always been like that. For some reason, I just can't comprehend directions. People will be like, okay, so you just go here, here, and here. And I'm like, what? I don't understand, man. And it never really ends well. More acolytes. I'm surprised you're all alive still. I don't even know what I would call my guild. I have no idea. I usually make guilds when I know that I can dedicate myself to it 100%, but naturally I can't really do that. It'll only be like a fun thing if you guys ever want to game with me. I'll have to think about it. Okay, we're going back to my ship. Cool, we can go directly there. Cartel coins, ooh. Not today, my friend. I am a sub, so I do believe I get them, you know, every month. Here we go. This is Cypher 9 to headquarters. You have my target list. Watcher 2 here. I finished preliminary mapping of the Eagle's network. Your designated targets are terror cells located on Balmora near the Republic border and on Nar Shaddaa in Hut space. I just had a very interesting meeting with Darth Jagus' daughter. Any information on her? I'm afraid that data isn't mission relevant. Contact me once you've arrived at the Eva location, Cypher. Watcher 2 out. Lovely. Hmm. Premium storage case. Alright. I guess I'll take that. Why not? I didn't level up, really. That's a shocker. Oh, here we go. A better blade. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, we're going to Balmora now. Be the enemy. Sounds cool. I like that idea. Alright, Balmora. Where are you at anyway? Ah, over here. A space battle. Huh. Ah, oh, Republic space. Okay. Manan is over here. Here's Balmora. Once an independent corporate and manufacturing world, Balmora's or not, not Balmoris, but Balmora was defended by the Republic and conquered by the Empire during the war. Now the corporations have mostly fled. Local collaborators have been rewarded with positions in the Imperial Puppet government, and an entrenched and well-armed resistance opposes the Empire's rule. Huh. Alright. Let's go now. Now we're traveling again. Oh, I can sit here and then travel? Like that? Alright. Or are we here already? We shouldn't be. What's the situation? Tell me why not. Sorry about that, Cypher 9. Welcome to the Eastern Galactic Front. This whole star system is a crisis point. Republic and Empire are testing one another's strength. Meanwhile, the terrorists lurk in the middle. Good to see a pretty face. So long as I'm not just a pretty face. Pity the circumstances have to be unpleasant. The Eagle's men are using the war as a cover for local activities. Balmora is their training ground. Cell members recruit, instruct, and arm new terrorists here. Fresh soldiers destined for other points in the network. It's a vital part of the system. So where do I sign up to join? That I can't tell you. But you have the right idea. To dismantle the terror cell there, you'll need local support. I'm alerting one of our officials to your presence. Lacan Renald is the station chief in Sobrick, the Imperial settlement where you landed. He runs intelligence operations on Balmora and can brief you more thoroughly. Is there more I should know? Renald runs his affairs out of the back of an arms dealership. He'll be waiting for you when you arrive. Move quickly on this one, Cypher 9, and watch what you say. If things go bad, you'll have half a planet gunning for you. Alright, very well. Let me go around again. I suppose I do need to get out of here. Alright, fine. I'll get out of here. Yeah, that was a little bit weird. He was trying to share a little bit of information and he was cut off. I find that strange. Very strange. A foot massage? No, thank you. I don't trust you. Not with my feet. Here we are. Hmm. 
Hello, Balmora. Though I do like the idea of a guild flagship. That really appeals to me in many ways here. I'll have to write a letter back to Surge. I'll need to do that, yeah. And to whoever else sent me a message. I'll have to add all of you to my friends list and whatnot. I mean, they have the new expansion coming out, what, any day now, I think. Or soon. Okay. Now, now, now. We're going again. Hello, people. I'm here. Man, we humans are quite plentiful. We're all over. As we should be. I mean, we do enjoy good breeding. Isn't that right, Kaleo? <laughs> anyway. Alright. Going over here. I wonder if a person here would try to have me killed in the very beginning. I wouldn't doubt it. Ugh. Alright. I want to get on my speeder in a moment. I better get out of here. Here's a mission if I want one. Starship upgrades. Ooh. Shiny. I'm not worried about your job, Captain. I'm out of here. How's my alignment doing? Surprisingly, I'm going a little bit further along the light side. Though I am still neutral. Whoa. What a cool looking location. I like it a little bit more than our own capital. Which is shocking, but I do. Alright. We're heading over here. Gotcha. Now I can do that. Not as many people here, naturally. There's a lot more people on, you know, cost, but... What an impractical device. I mean, look at that. I feel like that would be very easy to take down. Why not treads? <laughs> But, they don't pay me to design their weaponry, apparently. I wonder who I'll meet here. I'm sure I'll get a new companion soon. You and me, Cleo. Oh. Elevator? Elevator. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Come on, Cleo. Now we're waiting again. Here we are. Ah, oh, you. Okay. Can I have a seat? Or a stand? <laughs> well, what have we here? Let me take a look at you. You're one of Keeper's boys, eh? I'm glad he finally sent someone. Pity it took a disaster to get headquarters attention. You must be Station Chief Renald. At your service. I've been assigned to Balmora for almost 20 years and haven't enjoyed a day of it. Ha! Ah, but here, I'm being a poor host. Have a drink. Settle in after your trip. This shop doesn't look like much, but it's secure. Secure or not, this is an odd place to work from. The shop fronts a necessary deception. The Republic and the terrorists have people everywhere. Rather than calling secret informants into a military base, I speak to them here, and no one's the wiser. These terrorists you're after, they've been a thorn in my side for a long while. They're worse than the Republic in some ways. So they're not working with the Republic? This terror cell is homegrown, made up of Balmorans unhappy with the Empire's rule. I suspect the Republic tacitly supports the terrorists, with their common enemy. So we do our best to cope with the bombings and sabotage. I'm listening. Continue. The Governor makes an example of a few dozen Balmorans after each attack, but it doesn't have much of an effect. Meanwhile, I've been studying the terror cell's structure, and there's good news. If we can take out the local leader, the cell should fall apart. What do we know about this person? The terrorists call the man in charge Grey Star. He runs the cell, gives the orders, and knows all the secrets. They claim Grey Star used to work with the Eagle, but who can be sure? Only the high-ranking cell members know Grey Star's identity. We can capture a cell member and bring out the torture droids. That should get us what we need. Messy, Agent. Very messy. And likely to alert our quarry besides. I propose another stratagem. I have a mole inside the terrorist cell already. He's a good lad. No cipher, though. He can bring you in. You'd have the opportunity to impress the terrorists, win their trust. Win their trust, then shoot them. Got it. Just don't forget to find Greystar before the shooting starts, eh? Sanju Pine, my operative, can introduce you to the terrorist recruiters at the Troida Military Workshop outside the safe zone. But be careful how you present yourself. If the terrorists suspect you're Imperial, you'll lose Greystar. And your lives. Alright, well, when we're back, we'll go handle that and infiltrate that terrorist cell.